Sometimes you watch a Disney movie and you feel like you've seen this before. And it's not because you watched it five times in a row when you were seven years old. Disney animators really recycled old scenes into a new movie. And if you want to see the popular character who was recycled the most times, you'll have to watch our video until the end. If you love Disney as much as we do, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today, we are showing you 10 times Disney recycled animation in its movies. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs It all started with the first full-length animated feature film and the first Disney princess, Snow White. This one couldn't copy any other animated movie, but the animators did recycle some footage of a woman dancing to create the beautiful character. Marge Champion was the actress who played Snow White in real life. She was only 14 years old, just like the princess, when she auditioned for Disney animators. And they immediately fell in love with her, as she had the elegance and the graceful motion of the princess, being raised by her father, who was a dance choreographer. They first asked her to wear a football helmet to create a character with a bigger head, but it was terrible to work with that. Then there was no choreography, and they just asked Marge to dance and do whatever she wanted with her friends, the dwarfs. She even played characters like Dopey, when they put a big coat on her and asked the actress to do funny things. The animators filmed her and used these videos to draw Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. At first, no one talked about Marge Champion, because Disney didn't know how people would react. But he found out that people didn't really care, so this secret was finally revealed. We think that knowing about Marge just makes this story more fascinating. Hey guys, we are so excited to announce we are producing our own original content. Head over to the Trendy for the best DIYs, fashion tips, makeup hacks, and so much more. We are sure you're going to love it. And be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section. We love to hear from you. See you there. Robin Hood. When she danced for the animators, Marge Champion didn't know that she would be part of another movie. And that's not because they hired her one more time to dance for them. They just used a scene from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for their new movie, Robin Hood. Take a look at the dance scenes with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Maid Marian and her little friends. Both ladies started clapping and have fun with their group of friends to the sound of music. Don't you think that this is really similar? That's because this is exactly the same scene, but with different characters. And since the war, Disney often recycled his old movies to create new ones. This is called rotoscoping. The animators draw and trace over old footage to create something new. So Marge Champion was the inspiration for Snow White, who is the inspiration for Maid Marian. We know that some stories look really similar. Just take Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and Sleeping Beauty, for example. But we never thought they could go so far. And it's crazy to think that we didn't even see it. But wait until you see all the other scenes that were recycled in other movies. And we'll also tell you why they did that if you keep watching. The Aristocrats Robin Hood was not only inspired by Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, but also by many other movies. One of them is The Aristocrats. This is another dance scene that looks exactly the same, but with different characters. They didn't even change the instruments that they play. And it's crazy to think that The Aristocrats also copied a scene from 101 Dalmatians, when an animal was terrified as someone was walking towards them. They just changed everything around to make it look different, but fans knew that they remembered this scene. But why were the animators doing that? Actually, the thing is, at that time, people didn't watch these movies as much as we do. They maybe watched it once at the movie theater, and they forgot about it. And even when people started listening to the VHS, they didn't then watch the movies as we all do now. Disney just never thought that we would one day have access to all these creations and that we would start comparing them. It just became worse when we had access to the internet and started talking about it and sharing our thoughts on the surprising recycling. This is how we discovered that so many scenes were so similar. But did the animators want to save money or were they just too lazy? Let's ask them to find out. The Jungle Book Here's another movie that inspired Robin Hood. One of the dance scenes with the bears and their friends was exactly the same. They even made the same silly faces, and we saw an elephant doing the same thing at the end. Robin Hood was not really surprising after all. If you watched the previous Disney movies, you already knew what was coming next. But that's not the only time The Jungle Book was used as an inspiration, as you could also see a scene that was really similar in The Rescuers. But now, we had been wondering if the animators wanted to save money, or if they were just lazy. Don't worry, they're not lazy at all, as it takes a lot of time to work on such a beautiful movie. 
and they have to deal with really strict deadlines. If you can't do this job, you can't judge them. But most people think that it was just about money. After all, people would think that just recycling the same scene saves a lot of them. So they don't have to pay the animators for all this work. And as Disney was losing money at the time, it would totally make sense. But someone who works for Disney told us the truth about this. And it's probably far from what you think. Beauty and the Beast. We love watching Disney Princess movies so much that we can't believe that we haven't seen this one before. Beauty and the Beast copied the scene from Sleeping Beauty. And once again, it was a dance scene when the princesses were dancing with their prince. By the end of the movie, their choreography was exactly the same. We know that there are not a lot of moves they can do with this kind of dance, but they probably took things a little too far. But they actually had a good reason to do that, and it might surprise you, so stay tuned. Floyd Norman worked on a lot of Disney movies, and he says that it was not about saving time or money. After all, he thinks that it's actually harder and longer to draw an existing sequence. The animators had to find the perfect scene, find the original drawings, and all this took a lot of time. Actually, it was a lot faster and easier to do just a new animation, and it was a lot more fun for the animators. After all, copying something is what we do in detention, not in art class. And animators wanted to give life to their unique characters. This is why Floyd will have to tell us soon the real reason why they recycled these scenes. The Sword in the Stone. This movie is probably the one that had the most recycled scenes. It was even worse than Robin Hood. Can you guess how many scenes from previous movies they recycled? There were actually 10. One of them was from Bambi, which we will talk about later. Another one was from Goliath 2, but most people didn't see that movie, so it didn't really matter. Then, there was another scene with a big rock from All in a Nutshell, the sea monster from Sea Scouts, and the character from Tiger Trouble reimagined as a weird creature. We could also see a whole scene with knights coming straight from another movie, The Truth About Mother Goose. There is no way Disney fans won't be able to notice the similarities between these two. We also noticed that some scenes from the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad and Pinocchio were really similar. And we can't believe that they even recycled a scene from Sleeping Beauty and we didn't see that. And we're not even done yet. You probably never heard about the sword in the stone because this movie was not really popular. This is the proof that sometimes recycling too many scenes is not really a good idea. But that doesn't mean that it wouldn't work in other movies. 101 Dalmatians and just when we thought that the sword and the stone couldn't copy more movies, we found out that we were wrong. There was one last scene that we didn't talk about from 101 Dalmatians. They made exactly the same joke twice, and we can't believe that we laughed once again. But that's not the only time that this movie was used as an inspiration. The Jungle Book copied many scenes, including one from 101 Dalmatians. And don't forget the aristocrats that we talked about sooner. But now it's time to finally know why they are taking the time to do all this. We all know that Disney likes to take a lot of risks with his movies. After all, he was the first to create a full-length animated feature film and captivate children from all over the world. He is now still known for all his innovations, but sometimes it's easier to simply do the same thing. The animators like to play it safe and use stuff that they know would work. We loved watching this scene the first time, so we would love to watch it once again. And since we love to watch most of the movies on this list, we can say that it worked. We can't believe that they tricked us and we didn't even see it. Alice in Wonderland. Can you believe that there is one last scene that Robin Hood recycled from another movie? It's when Alice was running away in the castle. You will notice that it's really similar to what they did in the other movies years after. But Alice in Wonderland is also guilty of recycling some scenes from other movies. Isn't it strange that the birds playing in the water did exactly the same thing in Bambi and Alice in Wonderland? We also noticed that fish like to do exactly the same thing in Pinocchio and the new movie. At least the animators made some efforts to create something new. Once again, they hired an actress to play the lead role. And this young girl wasn't only dancing, she also played the scene but it must have been really hard for her to do that as she had to imagine all the things surrounding her. The animators filmed her and this is how they were able to recreate a character that looked exactly the same. This is what they called live action reference. Now we understand why this character looks so real. Catherine Beaumont said that playing the role of Alice was one of the highlights of her career. 
No one really saw her, but we could still hear her because she was also the voice of the character. This is how we will remember her forever. Bambi. One of the scenes from this movie was so beautiful that it wasn't only used in one movie, but in many other movies. Can you guess how many? There were actually four. We all remember when the animals were living peacefully in the forest. It looked so great that Disney wanted to make sure that we would see this image again and again. This is why we saw something similar in The Sword and the Stone, The Jungle Book, The Rescuers, and Beauty and the Beast. And just because we can never get enough of Bambi, another animal was seen in two other movies, The New Neighbor and The Rescuers. Do you want to see more? Fun and Fancy Free also recycled some animation from the movie. And don't forget the scene with the birds in Alice in Wonderland. It was a big challenge for the animators to work with animals, as they wanted to make it look real. And this time, they used live action references too. At first, animals were brought to studio art classes for close-up studies by the Disney artists. We would have loved to be there on that day. Then, they lived behind the studio, so the animators could always have access to real life inspiration. So if you want to work with animals, you have to be an animator on a movie like Bambi, Winnie the Pooh. And here comes the popular movie which used the most references from other movies. Actually, this time they didn't recycle animation from other movies, but from Winnie the Pooh itself. That's right, Winnie the Pooh copied Winnie the Pooh. So if you watch this bear a little too much, you will notice that some things are really similar. For example, one scene from Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree is almost exactly the same as another scene from Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day. If you think that things have gone too far, you'll be surprised. Then, a whole scene from Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day was used in Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. And that's not even the only thing they recycled. Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree used 101 Dalmatians as an inspiration. Then Winnie the Pooh and the Blustery Day used one image from the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. We also saw the boy walking exactly as another boy did in the Jungle Book and the mini adventures of Winnie the Pooh. And this is probably why the scene looks so weird. Anyway, we think that they took this way too far and it needs to stop. If there is one scene from a Disney movie that you could have the chance to see once again, what would it be? Don't be shy to answer in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear what you think. And that's it for 10 times Disney recycled animation in its movies. For more stories like this, make sure you watch 10 Worst Straight to DVD Disney sequels. Thanks for watching and see you next time.